Hi you guys, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my super quick, super easy, super lazy girl makeup. It is literally the only makeup I can do, so it'll be my first and my last ever tutorial, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Ooh, we are starting very bare today. Okay, let's start with our serums. So I'm going to go in with the Glossier Super Glow and the Glossier Super Pure, which I finally picked up a new bottle of because, good lord, I was, I was down to dregs. I get that all over the skin and neck and just pop. So this is the Glossier Super Pure and it's just a calm redness. So I kind of like putting it on first thing in the day along with the brightening serum just to keep everything looking swell. Okay, so we'll get that a minute to seep into the skin. I feel like I put on an awful lot today, so it might it might be seeping for a while. I'm going to go in and use my MAC lip conditioner because my lips are dry AF because of this weird ass weather we're getting. So it's very um, deceiving, very sunny today. But you know what it's like that's sunny that you go out and it's actually freezing? I feel like it's that, so I'm not trusting anything. So we're gonna use, again, Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I've gone through all this in a skincare video, so I'm not gonna go, go into it in a lot of depth today, but just to prep the skin and give it as much moisture as humanly possible. I drank more than a few glasses of wine last night, so I'm like, if I go close to the camera and you see my bloodshot eyes, you'll know why. Next, what I like using is MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. My friends will tell you anything with like a golden warm tone. That's my vibe when I'm doing my makeup. I had the original strobe cream, um, but once this came out with the gold reflex, I was like, hi, that's where I want to be. And I put this all over my face. I know you should probably only put it on the high points, but here we are. Sometimes I mix it with my foundation, but sometimes I'll just put it on. Let it do its thing. Okay, so we have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm using it in fair with my beauty blender, which is... Should that be damper? No, we're good. Again, very unprofessional, but like I just squeeze a pump onto the beauty blender and then I have a mirror down here as well. That's why I'm kind of randomly looking at the corner and then I just put it all over and I start pouncing it into the skin. Just kind of working it in. It's a really good coverage, so you probably don't even need to wear as much as I'm currently wearing. See that, like that's covered up all that redness straight out the bat, no concealer. And then we'll go in this side. I also love this because it has SPF 50 in it. So even though it's like probably really cold out, it's sunny, so gotta protect that skin. This is looking good, looking good. Okay, we are covered. Next, I use the Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Concealer. This is in light. Light, light, why that text is tiny. I just use a little bit under the eyes, not a ton. Some days I don't even do that, but as I said, wine last night, so gotta, gotta get in there. Now we're gonna go in with MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. This is my go-to bronzer. My go-to bronzer used to be Gold Deposit, but then I kind of got a bit carried away with it and I used it way too much, way too glowy. Um, so I have to stop. So I just kind of warm up around the hairline. Probably get it in my hair a little bit too much, but here we are. I need to get a new bronzer brush because this one is shedding like it's nobody's business on me and I really don't appreciate it. And just buffing, not really contouring, but just like trying to get that side of the face a little bit. I'm not, I can't contour, I don't have the skills as you can probably see, so I just kind of whack it on and hope for the best. I do follow what they say you should contour though, so like underneath your jawbone to just 
carve that out a little and then I do do a little bit on the sides of the nose but then I like really try and brush it out a lot so it's not super obvious and then just the neck yep then I use MAC Raisin it's a blush a kind of very terracotta orangey tone um, which I thought was too dark but then I saw it on and I was like oh no that's nice it's just a soft a soft colour to use just to add a bit of colour to the cheeks um, I used to be like basically allergic to blush because I have such red cheeks I was like I just got rid of that red why would I put more on but I've been reconverted and then I always do a little bit on the bridge of the nose especially in summer it just helps you look a little bit more sun kissed and natural so also raisin on the eyelids if you have blue eyes it will make them pop out and make it look like your eyes are nearly coming out of the sockets it's that good now I don't know how how shiny am I I'm pretty glowy if I use a highlighter I use the Becca Cosmetics champagne pop it's like my fave I'm obsessed with it hi camera ah, inception it's my fave I'm obsessed with it but I think that like between the strobe cream and then all the different serums and stuff that I'm using my skin is pretty glowy so I don't need it so we're gonna we're gonna put that away for now oh bread I'm hardly a brow queen but here we are so I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe it's just a nice light color so the big thing I do is just brush them up I used to get them waxed and everything and then in the last like 10 years I literally haven't given a shit about them I've just kind of let them do what they want to do this one's the the bold child of the eyebrows I just let them do their thing so I just very gently kind of go underneath the brows and out at the ends just to give it that more tapered shape um, and then I just go up through the brows just anywhere where there's like a little bold patch or a lighter patch and I just go through them I just go through them pretty quickly to be honest I'm not overly fussy with my brows I know I probably should spend more time in them because they totally frame your face but here we are they're fine to kind of set them because I do have quite thick brows and they can be a little unruly I use the Benefit Brow Bravo Conditioning Primer now for eyeshadow if I'm going out or like on an evening out I will use the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Betty and um, it's a gorgeous like briny soft color really easy to put on you literally just swipe it across your eyelid and you go so handy but what I tend to do on like a more day-to-day -day basis when I wear makeup is I use the gimme sun that I used to bronze my face earlier and I just swirl my brush this is a morphe or 38 brush so much comes off when you do that it worries me and I literally just bring it into the crease and do like a window washing situation back and forth and then I just do a quick wash over the lid to give it a little a little bit of color and then we go in and do it again on the other side it's really just a wash of color it's not very strong but it helps kind of my eyes look more blue and then same brush I should probably get a different brush but here we are I just put a little bit of product underneath just to kind of because I don't use um, eyeliner so it just helps it look a little bit more balanced liquid liner I'm not great at this but this one is very helpful because of just like the shape it is so this is the mac brush black brush stroke liner um, and it's got a really nice like kind of top to it that just makes it life a little bit easier so i literally like lean forward tilt my head a bit and kind of stamp it down and then drag it across so <sighs> who else doesn't breathe when they're doing their liner I kind of just drag it into about there and then I'll go from the inside and and meet it my big thing is trying to get as close to the lashes as humanly possible because I hate when there's that gap in between and it's like why did you even bother putting on liner oh my god I need to breathe Ugh. 
Okay, these are not even, let me tell you, but that's my life. That's how it goes. So for mascara, I've been using the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Waterproof because Lord knows I'll watch an ad of like, you know, puppies being reunited with their owners and I'll be in a basket case. I just want to put this on one eye for now because I actually got a new mascara today and I'm dying to use it so I'll probably be uneven but here we are. Also I am dying to get my LVL done again. <sighs> it's such a game changer. I actually can't deal with how different my face looks when I have LVL. If you don't know I have a video about it I'll pop it here. It basically just lifts and curls your lashes. It's insane. Today I got the Glossier Lash Slick and um, so I really want to try this. I tried it in the store um, but I didn't get it at the time but now I'm like I wanted it so. The faces I pull when I do my mascara dear lord. This is really nice. It doesn't clump. Feels very light. Cool. Cool. Just rub that in. It's fine. Okay. I really like that lash slick one actually. I'm definitely going to be using that a lot. For lipstick, I generally will go with a matte lip, but I'm actually loving this Charlotte Tilbury. It's Pillow Talk. It's like a limited edition one because it's kind of a glossy lip gloss. It's really pretty. Now, I feel like it wears off in about 20 seconds. And that's the thing about mattes, they like stay on for ever. But it's a really pretty colour. I'm into it. Okay, I'm gonna go fix my hair and change and I will be back in two seconds. Ooh, okay, my hair is kind of doing whatever the hell it wants today, so that's that's fun. Uh, but there you go, that's that's my little easy peasy squeezy quick fast lazy makeup routine. It's I'm very blown out now, so you probably can't even see it, but it's just simple. I don't always wear makeup every day, to be honest, but when I do, I just want it to be done in like 10 minutes, and I can do this in 10 minutes flat, so what's not to love? So that's it for today, showing you my lazy gal look. Very, very simple, very, very easy to do. It can literally be done in a car if you need to, or on the train, no judgment. Um, so yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And especially easy for when you get up and you're hungover and you just need to get to work and not look hungover. This is kind of perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any other lazy gal makeup tips. I'm all ears, literally all ears. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Come on, baby. Hello. Where are you going? What's the story? Um, where are we? Where are we? What are we doing? It's just like a little, a little gel situation. Excuse me. Stop beeping. I'm filming here. Now, where are you? Oh, my nails are horrific. I hope I didn't get any in the shop.